Yo, 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 Saka Fed, welcome back to another video. Today, I'm gonna show you how to create a very simple Afro beat using only FR Studio Stop Plugin. If you are someone who make excuses about not having so-called fancy or expensive plugin to create the beat, this video may be inspired you. So, let's have some fun. First, fix our tempo. We're gonna go with something like 100. Um, and we start with our core progression. To do so, I'm gonna use uh, this preset uh, called Sign Piano. By the way, all those presets are in the Afrobeat Essential Bundle Volume 2. So, first start with the Woods note. Take this one as our first note. So, we'll go with a minor right there. Sorry. there with the major and then right there we go like this and then right there we go back with a major note first thing press alt and o we we'll play with the velocity and add x so I can bring them down a little bit. If we go, it's just too high. And the next thing we're gonna do is adding a high note, and then we play them like that. The same thing right here we have this b right there you know sound better now and then we'll drag this one right there and right there we add this b Normally you take this same root note and then you add it one octave higher. So simple. And then we chop this one right here. That is our composition. This one is a basic chord progression and it is so easy for artists to work on this one and normally artists love simple beat and of course beat that leave a lot of space. Normally you go with a simple chord progression and you add a counter melody and some drum and then you're good to go. The next thing is gonna be copy this chord progression right there and then we take it one octave higher and I am going to quantize them like that and then this one right here and then let me take them and I'm gonna take them a little bit lower nice and then to make your composition sound more interesting you should add some effect so right click and then you can use the low chord You leave those frequencies, the bass frequencies for the sub or for your bass. And then let's blend them, not, not add them at 100. And the next thing I'm gonna be adding a little reverb. Nice. I'm gonna use this one right here. One thing that I love using is this one. So simple. Even myself can drop something on this one. So easy to work on. Normally when you work can on beat you can try 
to drop something on them and then see if it's work normally if you see that it's work that mean even yourself can drop some bars on it that mean it is good now we play with the swing button now we add a kick uh, we can go with loud or deep we use any other Set up my backup. Let's try open it. Yeah. Oh my god! Wow! Okay, now we have a bouncy drum and then we have our chord progression. The next thing is gonna be maybe adding some movement to our instrumental right away. Something that we can use on the chorus. I might use um, flex for that. Flex has a lot of good presets. Don't sleep on it. I use this one instead. I think I might use those cock progression right here. Those one right here. So come and see. And then I'll go right there, come and V. The only thing I need right now is now get them back down like that. And then the next thing is to add the low note. Let me take them all. Step and then we have it. Nice. Comment A and then we have it like that again. Nice. Comment A and then we have it like that again. What's happening right now? What is going on with the first video? Okay. Okay, I have an idea for the um uh let's see maybe we can add this uh um <laughs> we can try something like that and then see if it works so let's record now we're going to add uh, another melody it's gonna be some violent um i think i have this one right here let's use this one right here normally you just freestyle and then the vibe you find interesting you keep it and you can do some little arrangement after but don't kill the vibe if you freestyle something and then you feel that it sound nice just keep it and now we add a bass uh, i'm going to use a bass from fire this drum kit is fire maybe you can use this one nice For the bass, we just follow the woods note, which is um, mm. Ooh, 
das war... I'm doing if I just stop again, let's use the fruity fast distortion. And you mix them together with without it. And then now we have it like that. And then now we can add uh, something in um, in Citrus. There is a preset called Atlas, I think. If we go to Pad, and then something called Atlas, I think. Normally, what you do with it, you just add it right there like that, and then you go one octave higher, so we can have it on I note like. Sorry. Just add something at four bar. And then now you can just add a drum fit. Normally you use any drum kit that you have or you just create something. Uh, I think I love using this one. So let's just add this right here. That's it. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please let me know in the comment section if you want more FS to use top plugin tutorial. If you have questions, please leave a comment down below. See you guys in the next one.